Basically, it was like losing a child. And this is my dog, and he's not going anywhere. Say hi. He came in, and the little monkey was really scared. He just kind of walked in, and then um, he kind of pulled him over, and he said, ma'am, is, is this your little dog? And I just lost it. I, I just couldn't believe that I was looking at my dog after all this time and, and 670 miles from my home that he had my dog. I just went and did what, what I should have done, which was go and look for the dog, ask the lady, hey, listen, this lady, Miss Olson, drove all the way from South Carolina. She's devastated that she's lost her, her little dog. Anything you can do to help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. And, you know, within about 30 or 45 minutes, the lady called me back and said I did find the dog. He was determined. He's a pretty amazing man. He really is. And if it wasn't for him and his perseverance and his skill, he looked through the boxes and there was my dog at the bottom of the box with a blanket over his head. He didn't recognize me because of my haircut. When I said his name, I said, Monkey, it's Mommy. He just kind of like snapped into it. His tail started wagging and he just flew over and he was kissing me all over. <laughs> so yeah, he's, he's my dog.